Hey, I'm Miss Chrissy. And I'm Steve. And you're listening to JAGCast, episode number 138, the podcast of the Jake It Down Arts Garage. Where we explore the intersection of the arts and technology. And this week, this is take three of our <laughs> recording this week, but we're here to talk about Miss Chrissy here and her brand new yoga studio project. What is yoga? Why yoga? How yoga? Everything think, yoga and business this week on the podcast. I think you need some yoga after dealing with the chainsaws in your background, Steve. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really annoying. And I'm going to have to mute a lot during this episode. So if you do hear chainsaws in the background, because I didn't quite get fast enough on the mute button, or I was like right now in the middle of a sentence. So, well, we're going to see how this, <laughs> how this goes for the listeners. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so anyway, we're here to talk about Joy Movement Arts, your brand new yoga studio. And the first question that I had, which you told me not to ask, but I'm going to ask anyway. What is uh, yoga? Again, you're going to ask me what yoga is? Well, this is the first time for the people listening, just because we had a crash and we had to redo <laughs> it. It's like the fourth time I've had to tell you what yoga is today, Steve. Well, it's the, now that's how the sausage is made. I see that. <laughs> So yoga is uh, yoga. Oh, God, I hate it when you make my face big. It's so weird. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I go back. I go back to this. I was just trying I to keep it interesting. I feel much better, much better like this. <laughs> so <laughs> the word yoga okay. means union, Steve. Did you know that? Um, I, I know it from the first three times you told me today. But I do. Gonna... And yoga is a um, a movement practice, you know, generally used for exercise, for strength and flexibility, calming of the mind. There's some meditative components. And uh, a lot of people really enjoy taking a yoga class for their health and fitness. Okay. Well, cool. So you decided that having a growing and thriving dance studio was not enough for you. So your movement empire must expand. So how did, how did it come about that you were going to be uh, building a yoga studio right next door to your current Jankdown Dance Arts? Well, I, I didn't plan to do this, but an opportunity arose and it kind of felt like I would be foolish not to take the opportunity. Uh, there is a yoga studio in my complex and before the holidays, the woman who owns it approached me. Um, she was walking her dog and she came over to the, my studio on a Saturday and she said, uh, I, you know, I, I'm thinking about closing down my yoga studio. Uh, would you be willing to take my yoga community into your building? You know, can you fit my classes into your schedule? They, they want to continue and I don't, you know, she just wanted to continue with the massage part of her business. And at first I was like, okay. That could work. I can run daytime adult classes. Nobody's at JDA during the day. And then the more I thought about it, um, you at JDA, yoga would always just be like second fiddle. Like, you know, dance was always going to be come first um, and growing the dance programs, whether it be camp or this or that was always going to come before any yoga programming. So I kind of figured eventually it would peter out, you know, because it didn't really have a proper home. So um, I decided I would just keep her space and create a new yoga studio um, in that location. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a nice little space. And you're going to do some renovation. So yeah. Gonna... Did you decide on whether you're going to have a, a one of those like grass or leaf walls or something? That I am not like... having a leaf wall, I decided. <laughs> Why? Why do you have a leaf wall? They're cool. They are cool. I don't want some leaf dust. Oh, look, you almost missed your saw there, Steve. Good catch. Um, I, I was looking at the leaf walls, which are very popular in a lot of places now, like restaurants and hair salons and stuff. And they look like they would get dusty, and I don't want to have to dust a wall of leaves. So, um, so I'm not going to do a leaf wall. Yeah, I don't but, know how you clean those things. Uh, I, You know, I'm not going to find out. So I can't, I can't let you know. <laughs> um, yep. So I've decided against the, the leaf wall, but I'm going to do some, you know, small improvements. Luckily it's nothing too crazy. It's already set up like a yoga studio. I'm just going to freshen up the walls and replace some 
carpeting that's in the waiting area and stuff with some more modern flooring. Just give it get, like a little that, bit of, yeah. Get that one door to actually open all the way, the one room. Yeah, that's what uh, <laughs> that's what my guy is for. <laughs> we went over there to move your desk, and I go to open the door, and it's like, mm, mm. it's like yeah. it just won't open because it's dragging on the carpet. Yeah, it was a little stuck. But... Yeah, a little stuck. Uh, but that's cool. It's it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out, and it'll be a good compliment with uh, JDA, and it's called Joy Movement Arts J M A. No Jenkintown in the name. No yoga in the name, so I keep messing it up. I keep forgetting what it's I called. I know. I don't know why. <laughs> but look how pretty, though. Look at that logo. Well, no, no, now you see your couch a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So no. let me try. Let me try to like share the screen here a little bit. We'll bring up your web page, which has the logo on it. Let's see if this works. There you go. I'm gonna add this to the stage. There's and there my. You go. Yep. There it is. Look, and I made that, Steve. You made that. I made the website. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, you did. Look at this. It's a nice website. I think I did good. But look at this logo right here. This is what we're talking about right now. It's logo. It's uh, very green. It is. And uh, what does it represent? What is this like? What is this like logo? It is like a person. I'm not sure if we're looking at the front or the back of the silhouette. There's like levels of green and there's leaves. Like, what, does this have some kind of special meaning? Um, it's about growth and and yoga and calmness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> growth I've and yoga heard... and calmness. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> it's recorded. I, I don't need to quote you. We can just watch you say it. Um, so you don't have any special meaning. It just it just like seemed like an appropriate special looking. special meaning. You're so weird. You ask me I, like uh, if I oh, it's like I don't know. I guess I don't maybe know. I, which way maybe, is tell me which way the person is facing in this logo. Is it am which I which way at the, do you think it's facing? Well, I mean, I assume that I'm supposed to be looking at like the person's looking at me because otherwise how would the legs work? Right. But then it, it's hard to, to but then the, the face is, I don't know. I, I find it like confusing in my mind. It's like it keeps flicking back and forth between like someone whose torso is reversed or someone who's looking at me. Could you be me? It's because you overthink things and you're making my head hurt. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the website's up at Joy Movement Arts dot com and if you go there you can sign up and put your email address in here so you can get information when it when it opens but it has already has like some information about schedule and what kind of classes and some of the teachers are going to be there so uh, it's a uh, it's already a nice little website I remember we had a bit of a bit of a challenge to get, originally to get that set up with Wix. <laughs> I actually, so I know how we're always talking about arts and technology. Now, I know the swapping back and forth of the landing page was a little tricky, but I will say that Wix has some AI when you're setting up a new website that I actually thought was pretty decent. So, um, oh, yeah, what did, it, what did it do? What did it do? So, it was cool. You, you go in and you say, so you could always use a template. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like that, but it's a little more customized. It's nice. So you say like what your, they'll ask you what your business is, tell us more about it, blah, blah, blah. And then um, some descriptors, you know, like describe what you're going to do at your studio. You can put in the address. Um, you can put in like little like catchphrases type thing. And then, and then it generates, you know, a template. Um, like 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 the text is generating the text for you or generating or generating it, the template of the website it generates the template of the website and then it'll do things like it will throw some text in some of it works sort of and some of it like the one blurb that the ai made said it was from san francisco well i mean i guess that makes sense san francisco would be have a lot of yoga studios i guess but but it was cool. It like threw some quotes in. And what I did was I actually did the little AI thing like three or four times. Yeah, you got to do it sometimes. Did you double check what it outputted and make sure it was telling the truth? Like any quotes? 
Um, I actually took all the quotes that it gave me and replaced them with other quotes, but I just used the, like where they had a quote on the website yeah, yeah. Okay. as a good spot for a quote. So, you tell me this, um, um, this design of the website is, is mostly the layout is, is from an AI. Uh, well, sort of most, well with modifications, I changed all the colors. Um, okay. well, I mean, this is a pretty standard layout and I remember we talked a little bit about it too. Or, you know, what what you put in each one of these blocks. Yeah. But it was not, I mean, like, some of the stuff was nice. Um, I found it helpful. And like I said, I did it, I think, three or four times. And then I had, like, a couple of different versions that weren't at all modified that I just kind of kept in Wix until I made up my mind. And then I was like, I mean, they all looked somewhat similar because I kept picking the same stuff and be, like, elegant and modern yeah. versus vivid and blah 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 so eventually they all started to look the same and i was like okay well i guess this is what I, my website should look like because the AI, ai just made it like four times and it looks the same well but that's, that's um that's because the the ai was uh was trained oh, i hate the language it's used in in, uh, in this area but uh the the model was uh as input was a lot of websites that look like this um but you know when i came to selecting a one of them it was if you go back to the top it was like what i ended up looking at was more like where is now this is just a landing page yeah this is not the uh mm -hmm. the, the 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 there's a an there's even like better a, website coming yeah i i mean there's a bunch of stuff i'm working on that's not published yet but you know i looked at like where does one logo go in relationship to the other and where does an image yeah. go that was the stuff i ended up looking at and you went with uh green as your primary green and earth tones, which makes sense. For yes. Me. Yep. So, so besides the, the, like the web page design and stuff, um, the biggest thing I heard from you about this for, for our intersection talk here was, uh, the old studio is all very paper based, right? And you're mm -hmm. trying to transition it into like the 21st century here and uh, onto a, a some kind of digital back end and stuff. And and you were telling yep. me that like yoga works differently than than your dance studio. So I thought that was kind of interesting. You have this class card concept that happens there and <laughs> you had to pick a back end. So you went through a bunch of different versions. So why don't you tell me a little bit about about uh, about that, about the transition from paper to digital. So the current yoga studio that or the current yoga community that's in that space um, has been using a paper card model like many businesses did back in the day and never transitioned 25 to 25 fully... years ago um, maybe less than that <laughs> yeah maybe but not by much um what, what does the card represent the paper card uh, uh it usually is a um it's usually have your name and then what kind of package you might be on so um that's one of the things that's different about yoga and these like boutique fitness type businesses versus dance um so in like this type of business you can have either memberships kind of like a gym membership uh or these like class packs or class cards where you purchase either you for like a slightly discounted rate you buy either 10 classes or five classes up front and then way back in the day it used to be a little punch card and then they would like three hole punch your card when you came in it sounds kind of like a spiritual z pack you know, i don't know what a z pack you know isn't that the, isn't that the uh the antibiotic you get a z pack you have like a, a bunch of little ones you take out you pop them out a little pack uh, maybe them. I don't know. I've never had one. So spiritual Z pack because you have a little punch. Okay, never mind. My my jokes are lame and lost on you. Very. <laughs> um. So anyway, so they were still using the card model. Um. There are many many uh yoga and fitness studio software programs. Um, oh yeah, there's so many. Way more than there are for dance. Way more. And honestly, they're a lot better they you know yeah, that's is it just because there's more yoga studios in existence or something like i don't i don't get I, why they're so much better i don't know i mean i guess there are more Maybe. i mean so it's not just yoga but it's also like boutique fitness wellness oh. bar classes gyms anything karate places yeah karate. you know anything hey. with a 
you know, that kind of sort of model of memberships or. So uh, they, they advertise these products, usually advertise that they can do dance studios, but you don't think they quite work that well. I mean, it actually, it might be able to work that well. I don't know. I mean, I'll know when I get into the weeds of it, but um, it is from, from the experience that I've had with it so far, it is in a lot, in a lot ways more intuitive than the dance studio software I have. So you, um, but, so you, you uh, evaluated some and then what did you end up uh, choosing? I chose a software called wellness living. It is um, I think mind body is the most, popular or used to be the most popular um this one is definitely newer than mind body but there were certain things i liked about it um it was a there are some that are very expensive so the, this one wellness loan yes mm -hmm. okay yeah see dance studios they say it's for dance studios but uh it, this is this is a big one i've seen this around i've seen other people using this yeah um what i liked about this one, i looked at this one and another one that i was um, very interested in and why I chose this one is because their marketing suite was in their monthly price where the other is that what this is I can't it says, see SMS Steve. says <laughs> email SMS marketing is that what you mean that part oh well yes that and then also things like you can build a newsletter in the software two-way uh -huh. texting is in the software uh which you know me i'm always trying to find two-way texting um through dance yeah Pro, yeah Dan they don't it, have that people like to do all of their stuff on their phones right i mean this is uh that's right. the thing i've been talking about for many years i remember i and i think i told the story before i remember being at work and <laughs> and when iphones were new and i was like we should make sure everything works on your phone first because this is going to be the primary computing device that people will use and uh you know I, I remember it being a, a lukewarm reaction at best at the time but now of course it just everybody just you know for a long time now people just, people are just like oh yeah sure of course you, every every website needs to be mobile friendly as they say right um and texting and you were you were telling me though that it's like even beyond that now it's that um that people just want to text right like they don't want to call i mean they want they want to text things they don't and maybe even want to email they didn't want to email. They just want to text. Which is my preferred. I'd much rather do an email. Just well, I maybe I wouldn't care so much if it's in a software system, but like you gotta right manage now, it. Like like I don't yeah. know. Does this does this have some kind of um interface for like for when someone texts you? Does it go into some special software on their back end? It does. It goes so somewhere. I haven't figured that out yet, yeah. but yeah. it goes so somewhere. You need some kind of like like something like it a ticket management a... system. It has a CRM built in, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need like a, C a customer relation management, right? You need something yeah. like that so you can go in and say like, you know, Alice, and here's all the messages with Alice. Because otherwise, right. you just get like right. Well, right now you have you get text messages, right? Sometimes they come to your phone, and yes. like you know, even if you use um different software to get a virtual number or something, if it just goes to your phone, it's not organized in some other backend. Like yeah, some CRM. it's terrible. Yeah, it can be terrible, and, and so that's cool that it ha that it has that in there. Yeah, so I um I've only done a little bit in there so far. I had my first like onboarding meeting, um, and then um I did some work like set up the staff things, and I started setting up the classes. Uh, nothing is live yet, so but I well, have. You can another... sign up. You can you can create an account. You, you oh, I have an account. Out. Oh nice. yeah, you can. Set, yes, I people. Can. People, you send an email out. It, yeah, yeah, yes, because I'm on the mailing list. Yes, I did. You can create an account. <laughs> I can create an account, but so, you can't do anything yet with it. Um, but but what about the paper, like cards? How does that work? So before you come in with a paper card and you like punch a hole in it or something, what do you do the with way the digital they version? Were uh, you just like check in on your phone. Um, you can either you can just book a class ahead of time on your phone. So like it has a it has a white label app that's included. Um, and obviously you can pay more if you want to get a branded app down the yeah. road or whatever so if you want to sign up for a class you can either use the website or your app you already have your account you click book now hopefully you've already paid for either a class card or a package or you have a membership um and then it'll just take it off of your account or how do you, how do you check in when you get there um so i haven't you know, I'm still getting there. I believe there's a self check-in option. Oh. The teacher can you check you in, or the if you have a front desk person, they can check you in, but, or you can just set up a kiosk. 
type thing. Okay. Yeah. Where so you it's, just it's, like it, tap it, it's your gonna name. be it's gonna be easy. So no fears if you're not used yes. to doing this kind of thing. That's because it will be better plan. than the better than the paper one, which is hard to make sure every, it takes more effort to make sure that's what all all the accounting is done right, right? Everybody Right. Know. And you know, then I mean then there's you know, people can just securely put your credit card information in and it's in a secure location. You yeah. know what I mean? That's, you can keep it, it on your account. Um, one, of, one of the things I find, uh, I don't know, kind of funny about some some people where they, you know, like they don't want to put credit cards into apps or, or or use like that kind of thing. At least this was more, more of a thing earlier in the days of, the, of web commerce. And I was just like, it seems like a lot more secure than talking to some random person on the phone and like out or out loud doing it. Or way back in the day, remember when you had to put a card down on like a piece of paper, you go, you know, ch- ch- you make like a copy of it and every, all, and it was just, you know, uh, your copy of your credit card information was just on some piece of paper in the desk of some company. You know what I mean? Well, we yeah. had that um, before at JDA before I had software and uh, we had like a swiper at first and then mm-hmm. we people asked for like auto pay but mm-hmm. the only way to do it was have to have some sort of it wasn't like a photocopy of their card but it was like a scan thing of their card there and then put the numbers in and then the someone mentioned yeah. they're like where where does this get kept and i'm like and then i was like wait a second this is not a good idea <laughs> it was like exactly. i need some yeah, sort yeah. of yeah. it was like this is getting you know, it wasn't like one or two people anymore. Like you had to scan mm-hmm. through once a month. It was like I was like, "This is getting, this is too much." I don't want the, I don't want the responsibility yeah, so of you're, people's you're... credit card numbers. You know, exactly. And so you're starting out with this new yoga studio already set up. So all of your credit card transaction stuff are going to be taken care of by Wellness Living. Is that how it works? Yes. Yeah. Does it go to like its own Stripe account? It's getting a little in the weeds, but the, do you have your own Stripe account or do they, they act as your processor and everything? Uh, they have a different processor they use. I think it's called Paragon. Okay, so it's not hooked up to your own Stripe account. Like kind of some no. of them were like that. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. You, now, a lot of them do that because they can offer you a better rate if they get everyone yeah, who yeah. uses their software onto, you know, something. Yeah. Onto right. their processor. So um yeah, so that's been good and exciting and uh, so what, so, I'm excited. So you're gonna have this, you have this new place, you're renovating it, but no no grass wall, right? Because you don't know how to dust a grass wall. Mm-mm. Which I always thought was funny. I don't know, I don't understand how you are supposed to clean them. Um, but the I can't remember if we actually talked about that in this take, because it's like our fourth take or something of this. But yeah, I don't the, know. The, the the idea of like the grass walls where uh or the leaf walls or whatever. Yeah. They're did we talk fake. about this? I don't know. I, but maybe it was uh, I don't understand how you, I don't, the problem is you had any dust them. Uh, but you, so you have a new studio, you're setting that up and you have the, you're going to digital, but then like what, what's, uh, what's the, uh, the joy movement arts difference? What distinguishes you from any other yoga studio? Why should I go to joy movement arts? Because I told you to Steve. <laughs> I, I mean, that is a pitch. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure that that's like the best pitch. But do you have any plans to do things like differently than any other yoga studio? Um, um, I mean, I, I think every every business you have ends up taking on like a certain personality and vibe. Um, my intention is it has a very nice community of. Um, students that um and it's like got a nice chill vibe it's like that relaxed um like the same thing i like about jda it's like it's it's vibrant but it's relaxed it's not like a high stress environment and i hope to do that here as well you know so you know don't it's not like yoga for like you know you know, crazy yogi people, you know, it's, it's for like the regular, you know, regular people who want to, you know, take care of themselves and well, you, be you fit sent, and be well. You sent yeah. out an email. I did. That, uh, what did I say? You said, <clears> that you said a little about you. You said, um, a bunch of background information. I didn't know. I don't know what OOM yoga teacher training is in New York city, but that uh, sounds impressive. 
and then and and vinyasa yoga whatever that means it's a type of yoga it means flow okay but you said at the end that your hope is to use the knowledge that you gained while building your dance studio to lead joy movement arts forward and uh i think that's pretty good i think basically yeah. uh yeah you want it my hope is to keep your yoga community strong continue to provide the amazing class you love and help the studio grow and flourish i think the biggest thing is this studio as you said it has a great group of students but it hasn't really been growing correct you know? and without growth a business eventually you know ends <laughs> so you know uh the 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 fact that you're you're investing in this means that uh there's a future for this uh yeah. this specific studio uh more so than maybe there would have been before where it was just kind of oh. sound like it was just kind of eking along but not really growing not really changing correct so right. um so that sounds good and then uh, who knows what'll happen uh, i i think maybe uh maybe you can maybe there's some way to combine dance and yoga into some kind there of you know how there's like high there's hybrid restaurants there's like the fusion restaurants yeah. could there be a fusion yoga like once things are running maybe you can ex do some experimental site-specific yoga dance maybe i stuff. can that would be maybe fun. i don't know chrissy does site-specific um, dance right so is that, is that what it's called what's called site site-specific in dance. interpretive dance or just dance not interpretive dance what is interpretive oh. dance Interpretive dance, like if you say that, it makes me think of like the '60s. Well, no, we're not in the '60s, thankfully. But okay, so but, you know, yeah. Okay, so that is the yoga studio, and uh, when is it going to be open? Oh, what? Um, I did want to say. So someone was like, "How are you going to manage this all?" And you know, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. But I did have a few things because we always talk about like some businessy type organizational things so i have two strategies to uh trying to keep it all together here one i like do a tiny bit of computer work before my day starts because after nine o'clock i'm a waste of space anyway so yeah, yeah. well after nine o'clock that's when i i do my cut off in the day too you gotta you gotta have yeah. some time to decompress and just like yeah, I can't do yeah, anything yeah. after nine o'clock. So instead, I do a tiny bit of this work before my day kicks off because I usually do my JDA work after I take the kids to school. Um, and then the second thing I plan to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna be so proud, Steve. I'm gonna have an office. Oh my God. Yeah. You were telling me about this. Uh, and you're not gonna just be working on your couch. That's where I am right now. <laughs> yeah, because the office is being uh, set up. But you're going to have a nice a little office, right, with a desk. We got the desk in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we went, we traveled like half an hour in an old uh, pickup truck to pick up the world's like ugliest desk, in my opinion. <laughs> but whatever, it works. <laughs> I, you know, I think like you need to my put, desk. I think, I mean, I haven't seen it all set up. It's like that, it's like that fake wood stuff, you know? It's cheap if someone's used desk. <laughs> Can't really argue with the price for a quarter, a, 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 what is that, a corner L desk. Those things, you said they're kind of expensive, so you got to real cheap. It'll work fine. Now you're, I, I, I know. You, now you're you making put, me feel like I should get the other desk. What other desk? There was this other desk um, that I actually wanted, and the woman didn't respond to me, so then I bought this desk. Well, you know, there's still time to change if you don't like this. Whatever whatever works. You can, you can always, like, decorate and put something on the top. If you don't like it doesn't matter how it looks it's a surface area for work anyway now that's you're making what's me so feel great. like i should go get the other desk <laughs> it's a much prettier desk well you know whatever oh works oh my you're... god steve what we're in the middle of recording the, what the other king is here oh god now we got to tell everybody what you mean <laughs> the other cat is here like where outside staring in my window no oh joke god. so so no joke, no joke. Um, if you've been following the podcast, there's been this ongoing thing with uh, a cat, cats coming over and trying to like move into Chrissy's house. And the the, the latest is that there's a, a second cat that keeps doing this, trying to come in, sneaks in the house when when they open the door, and apparently now the cat is staring at Chrissy from her window. This is why you need an office so you don't have cats staring you down. 
trying to make trying to oh, guilt trip you. God, what door. do I do? Hide from it? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cat interruption is probably the best part of the episode <laughs> what is it doing just staring at you yeah the curtain is there so it doesn't know i saw him oh yeah he does okay uh. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you know he knows because he oh my god that is so crazy what is he doing uh, he's What's just he sitting in the window he's I just staring at you Wait, I'll I'll send you a photo. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm able to show the photo though. You um, should. Uh... <laughs> Wait, here it comes to you, Stephen. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna have to let me look at this photo. Oh, <laughs> the cat sitting in your window. Yeah, <laughs> it's just sitting there. It just wants to come in. Oh, <laughs> yeah, cat. Uh, Chrissy is the cat whisperer. I don't. Know. I don't know how that. Happens. I don't even. I don't know. You either. do not do. You're not like putting food out or anything. Literally, cats just seem to come over and like your house, and they just walk in. Like, and this one is fast. It'll. You. You told me. <laughs> You told me it snuck into your house. You didn't even know it was there. More than one time. Like, I think I got the mail once and it was like, and then I couldn't find it. I thought it left. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. This this is an ongoing cat problem. So anyway, thank you for the interruption, cat. At, well, we're, we're at the end of the episode anyway. I think we're going to make this a little bit short because you only talk about uh, yoga for so long, right? Uh but I, before the cat interrupted us, I was asking, like, when is this? When is this actually going to be open? When is a uh, joy so movement arts going to open? Uh, so I am um, April first. It between eight, the first two weeks of April, there will be a modified class schedule that'll be running at JDA while we renovate. So that way, everything wasn't completely closed for the people who go there on a regular basis, um, and then. Uh, after that, in two weeks, which is a really tight turnaround time, hoping to have the place freshened up and classes back over at uh, Joy Movement. Yeah. And so if you want to make sure you know exactly when things are happening, go to joymovementarts.com and put your email address in the little box here. It says stay connected by joining our mailing list. And then you will get updates, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so cool. I'm excited about this. Uh, I think we'll have have some fun things to talk about once it's open. Uh, I'm curious about how the uh, the wellness living stuff on the back end works. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, I'll let you the, know. The one you were looking at, I was excited about because the other one you were looking at had an API. I haven't looked at this one. Oh, an it API. has an API. I oh, think. nice, nice. Well, I'm gonna you can check look it out because yeah. if it has an API, then I can like do stuff with it okay. potentially. I don't know. It could be fun. I haven't gotten fun into the the widgets and all the like. Ha, that's what's coming down the road. I have like one one or two more steps to do, and then I have to get it on the website. So I'm I'm very close to to being able to like make it live. But um, yeah. you know, com- computer stuff takes time, and you know. Oh, don't I know it? Yep, don't I know it? Okay, so what time is it now, Chrissy? Um, lunchtime. Time to wrap it up, Steve. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> okay, so if you uh, want to support the show here, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and click the bell and like and share the episode. Everybody says this, but it's true. It actually makes a big difference. The algorithm will ignore us. Otherwise, you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Jenkintown Arts Garage. Uh, and our main website is jacketartsgarage.com. We can find links to everything, including the catalog of our audio versions of the show, all the video versions of the show, and hopefully new stuff uh, coming up. If you uh, go to our website, then you will also be able to sign up for our mailing list, which uh, would be really cool because then you'll also be uh, notified when we have new stuff. And look, it's a, it's, it's a pretty slick-looking website. I'm still working on it, though. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And uh, if you really care, you can go to the <laughs> – you can go to you can buy us a coffee. Go to uh, Jengtown, uh, 
artsgarage.com slash coffee. And you can throw us a couple bucks there and uh, help pay for the uh, the website and all this other stuff. So, but the biggest thing, if you could just go to YouTube and literally subscribe and like and share the episodes, that would probably do more for us than even like, you know, five bucks would right now because we need to get get the YouTube algorithm to recognize us. So, yep. uh, okay. So yeah. that's going to be it for today for this episode of uh, Jagcast. How do you think it went, Chrissy? You think it went okay? Third time's a charm. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. I guess now stay tuned. Here comes our, uh, our phenomenal ending theme song. I guess I will talk to you later, Chrissy. Bye, Steve. Bye. We're learning to break the ice together.